Hi Goggle, you look busy. What are you working on, buddy? Hi Toggle, I am calculating the total price of groceries for mom for this week. Hmm, that's a long list, Goggle. Yes, but this calculator is helping me a lot. There, that's done. I will write this figure now and give the sheet back to mom later. Good work, Goggle. I couldn't have done it so fast without the calculator. Toggle, it is so useful in doing all these calculations. That's correct, Goggle. Imagine, Toggle, people must have spent hours simply adding before calculators were invented. Well, Goggle, that is not entirely true. Even before the invention of the calculator, there were various simple devices which helped people calculate faster. Is that true, Toggle? What devices could those be? Can I see any of those devices? You surely can. In the city museum. Can we go there today? <laughs> Why not, Goggle? Okay, come on then. Let's go now. <laughs> Toggle, look at that. Why is this toy in the museum? <laughs> well, Goggle, the abacus is not simply a toy. It is actually a calculating device. Wow, somehow I always thought it was just a toy. The abacus was probably the first calculating device invented thousands of years ago. You can see that it has a wooden frame with beads sliding on wires. In early times, it was used to perform simple calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. That's great, but tell me Toggle, where was the abacus used first? Well Goggle, some of the most popular and useful abacuses were developed in China, Japan and Russia. Do people still use it Toggle? Oh yes, the abacus is still in use today in many countries of Asia and Africa. Toggle, look at that strange thing on that table. What is that? <laughs> ah, that is Napier's bones. Napier's bones? What were they used for? Napier's bones was used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and to even find the square roots of numbers. I see. But then why is it called Napier's Bones? Well, Goggle, this calculating device is called Napier's Bones because it was first created by Sir John Napier in the year 1616. That's alright, but why bones? That's because the original device had numbers carved on rods made of bone. Later on, metal or wooden rods were used. Wonderful device, I must say, this Napier's Bones. Look at this instrument toggle. Doesn't look like a calculating device to me. Goggle, that device is a Pascaline. It was the first mechanical calculator. Wow, the first calculator. Why is it called a Pascaline? It is called Pascaline as it is named after its inventor Blaise Pascal. Look at the Pascaline toggle. The rectangular box has tiny wheels on it. I wonder how it was used. These wheels were actually dials with the numbers 0 to 9 around each of them. When you want to enter a number, you take a thin metal rod, place it between the spokes of the wheel at the position of the number and turn the wheel. The number will appear in the window at the top above each wheel at the end of the turn. The Pascal line could be used for adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing numbers up to the hundreds and thousands. That's neat!
Toggle, tell me one thing. Could any of these machines carry out big and complicated mathematical calculations? Well, no. The devices like the Abacus, Napier's Bones and the Pascaline were suitable for carrying out relatively simple calculations only. So, when was the first device for carrying out complex calculations invented? Yes, look at this picture on the wall. It is the image of the difference engine. Difference engine? What was that? Well, Goggle, you can say that the difference engine was the first computer. It was made by Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage! Yes, I remember. Our teacher told us that Charles Babbage was a great scientist. He is known as the father of modern computers. You are right, Goggle. Charles Babbage made the difference engine to prepare mathematical tables. And you know, Goggle, Charles Babbage made the analytical engine too. The analytical engine? The analytical engine was the first general purpose computer. It had some basic elements of the modern computer like input, output and memory devices. Hmm, what a wonderful device the analytical engine must have been. Imagine Goggle, from the Abacus to the analytical engine. Such wonderful progress. Thank you Toggle for this visit to the museum. Now I know so much about the early calculating devices and their inventors. I enjoyed this as well. Time for lunch. Let's go home now.